Hello, this is Alec from Murray Mioso, and uh, Ben and Noah are not here this week. They left on Sunday, and they will be back probably on Friday or Saturday, I'm not exactly sure when. They went to Arizona, so yeah, pretty proud of Michelle because I loved Arizona. But, so I've been watching E3 lately, you know, just a couple days. The new Xbox 360 Slim looks pretty sweet. You got uh, you got wireless connection, so you got Wi-Fi already in it, which they needed to do a long time ago. Finally did that. They got quieter fans. Hopefully it'll be quieter. I'm not sure. I haven't really seen it run or anything. I don't think anyone has. But uh, it shouldn't get rid of its death. Hopefully they change that, change the uh, side of it, so it'll be better. Um, the it has. It's like a black finish on it, kind of a sleek, uh, some chrome on the, the ring, like the power buttons or whatever, it's this chrome finish. And there's, there's all this other stuff in there. Uh, it's going to have 250 gigabytes of space on it, and it has HD, well, not true HD, because a lot of you probably don't know, but Blu-ray is now the only true HD. Uh, the anything else that's HD isn't fully HD. It's like 740p and such. A lot of games are like that. It's not true HD though. They uh, yeah they changed HD is really only Blu-ray now and uh, yeah it's it could be uh, close to Blu-ray but or close to high definition but it's not completely high definition. So. That, I, I think the, uh, the new uh, Xbox 360 slim, smaller version, I think it should be pretty cool. I, I, I would want to get one, but <laughs> take a while to get one. It's going to be $300, and I'm not sure what it's going to be boxed with. It'll probably just be boxed with a remote and uh, the headset. So uh, maybe they'll package it with a game or two, probably just, probably not, but who knows. Uh, it's supposed to be, uh, it was supposed to be shipped out to the stores two days ago, the day it was announced, and I, I find that kind of hard to believe, because it seems kind of unlikely, but, uh, I guess they could have, and, I, it's probably at all the stores, and they're just trying to get them out, and get them, uh, so they can sell them. Uh, I don't know that... I don't know exactly when they're coming out. I don't think anyone knows. I haven't checked GameStop in a while. But, uh, their website anyway. Uh, I haven't checked there, so uh, I don't know if it's coming out on Friday or this weekend or something. I don't know. It'll probably be a couple weeks before they actually get it to be shipped out to all the stores. Um, there's another thing. The uh, Connect, the Microsoft Connect, which is the new name for uh, Intel. Which I think was a stupid thing to name it that because Natal was a whole different name. It was something unique that everyone kind of caught and it was catchy. But Microsoft Connects spelled the K. I just all the games that they've seen, all the games that they've shown for it, they just they look exactly like the Wii. They're copying pretty much all of their first games that they're making for it, which is pretty understandable. I mean, you know, you gotta have a sports game, you know, with different sports on it, and then there's uh, so there's a racing game and it's just all that kind of stuff. There's little mini games and stuff and sports. But so far there hasn't really been any true full games for it that's been announced. There's all the games that just just throw mini games and I don't, I don't think it's any different from the Wii. It looks just like the Wii to me. Uh, it's just better graphics. And uh, it's not that much of a big deal. Personally I'd rather play the Wii than having that. And for two reasons, the Wii is just going to be a more cartoony, more uh, not as um, not as uh, I guess not necessarily stressful, but it's just it's not going to be as more it's going it's more cartoony. It makes you feel much more happy, I guess you could say. Um, it and I think the Wii one is just the Wii is just it would be better because it's a lot cheaper. I mean, if you're someone like someone who wants a Wii. You know, all you have to get is the Wii, the two hundred dollar Wii, and uh, you can get extra remotes and all that. But that's not what we're talking about. So yeah, I guess you just spend about two hundred and fifty dollars for the Wii and then the extra remotes. And then for the Connect, you'd have to spend 
the money to get the uh, Xbox, which would be any Xbox. So I guess it's just a $200 arcade model. And then they'd have to get the Kinect, which is probably going to be another $100, $150. I don't know. They haven't announced the price yet. And it probably will be pretty expensive considering they did not announce the price at E3. Which is kind of strange. You'd think they probably would considering it's going to come out sometime soon. But who knows? It Maybe it will be rather expensive. But I, that's just the point. I think Personally, I think the PS3 move will be about a lot better. Not because I like the PS3 more, because it's not true. I like both consoles equally. I haven't been playing as much. I mean, I'll admit, when I first got the PS3, I thought it was all awesome and all that, but and they're both pretty good. And, I mean, but the PS3, you get some better exclusive games. When I say better, I mean not that the Xbox exclusive games are bad. I just mean the, uh, the exclusives that you can get on the uh, PS3 can be a lot better than some of them. Like, Uncharted 2 and Kill Them and stuff like that. There's just a ton. There's just a ton of them. And uh, personally, I think the move is going to be a little bit better right now because they actually have already announced games that will be able to be used on a Wii Move. And then the the PS3 conference was pretty cool to watch. Um, nothing truly really big, just more about the move. And there was more on 3D games. And I, I personally don't really care that much about 3D games. I don't think it's that much of a big deal. It's just not that it's just not much of a big deal to me, I guess. But it, it was pretty cool seeing some of the games that they're gonna do, the Killzone 3, um, Killzone 3 in 3D. Of course you didn't get to see it in 3D watching it on TV, but it was pretty cool seeing the gameplay that they showed and uh, some of the other games uh, SOCOM will be for the Wii move or for the for the PlayStation Move and the uh, the uh, just there's just a bunch of other random games that'll be for the Wii Move of course like the like Wii Sports and such for the PS2 Move sorry so I used to saying Wii because different but it was pretty cool watching that kind of stuff the Nintendo conference was pretty cool because they finally got people happy. From all the other past conferences, they just little stupid mini games that they've done. But then this year was big. They finally they announced the new 3DS, which personally I don't think is much of a big deal. It's just like a DS with a 3D. But I don't know. I mean, I guess it is new and it's 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 pretty cool. I mean, it's a step forward. But some of the games that they're announcing are pretty cool, like a uh, Donkey Kong and Zelda and uh, all this other stuff. They got a whole bunch of games that are going to come out for the Wii and most of them are full games. They're not little mini game stuff. So that's pretty cool. Um, just kind of fun watching E3. If you guys haven't been watching it, you should go watch it. It's a pretty fun thing to watch. And Sean, if you're watching this right now, which you probably are, you're probably going to start saying, Oh yeah, the the, the Microsoft or Sony definitely did that on purpose. No, they they did not do that on purpose. Okay, why would they do that on purpose? Just think about that. Why in the world would Sony want to destroy all of their original consoles and then have everyone go buy a uh, Slim? Just think about that. Everyone, no one would do that. They just go buy another PS3. I mean, they go buy another Xbox. So honestly, I think you're not thinking it through very hard so just think about it so yeah thanks for watching guys just you can comment and tell me what you thought about e3 so far and what you think uh so yeah it's pretty cool bye